Hi guys, today I'm going to review Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. I haven't done a review in quite a while, so sorry if I'm out of practice, but uh, this book is been talked about quite a lot on booktube in terms of lots of people got it from Owlcrate and things like that but I haven't seen many people really review it. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews though on Goodreads, it's kind of a love it or hate it book whereas I was somewhere in between so I thought it'd be a good book to review to maybe help you out to decide if it's something that you would like. I would say the genre of this book would be magical realism because at the start it seems very normal with kind of little hints of magic but then by the end it's kind of a completely crazy new world sort of fantasy so it's kind of an in-between magical realism sort of book and the back basically says that Aza Ray is drowning in thin air and that she suffered from a breathing condition her whole life where she just can't really breathe but no one really knows why and um, the start of like the first hundred pages or so is her kind of struggling with her illness it's kind of a little bit fault in our stars if you wanted a comparison just kind of her worrying about her family and her friends and not really worrying about herself because she sort of come to terms with the fact that she maybe doesn't have very long left but she's more just discussing what it's like to have the terminal illness so when you first start the book it kind of seems like that's where it's heading but then by the end it has a completely different twist and I think that's why a lot of people maybe don't like this book is because they expect it to be more focused on the illness when you go into it and then by the end that kind of isn't the point at all but I didn't really see that as a bad thing I think maybe because I read it over such a long amount of time because of uni I wasn't like fully engaged in the story and like predicting what was going to happen so much I was kind of letting it wash over me and whatever but yeah so she's ill and she's in school and then all of a sudden she kind of sees all these like boats in the sky and loads of birds everywhere and it all sort of starts getting a bit freaky but part of her illness is like her medication can give her hallucinations so everyone's just like you're just hallucinating you know it's not real but it turns out that it is real and that's all I want to say on the plot because I think it is good going into this not knowing too much apart from that birds are a key part and that it is a bit of a twisty turny tale it also is actually dual narrative which I didn't realise a lot of the book is narrated by the main character Aza but there is also chapters by her best friend Jason who is kind of a love interest but it also isn't too overdone I was worried there was going to be a love triangle at one point but it was slightly hinted at but never, nothing really came of it, which I'm really glad about because I was like, not another love triangle, you know, you kind of already had this best friend love interest anyway, which is a bit of an overused trope, so please don't have a love triangle as well. But luckily it didn't, which was quite refreshing. I'm not sure if this book is a series because the ending wasn't very satisfying. I gave this book... I think three and a half stars in the end like when I when I was reading it I was like this is four stars it's nice and original I did like all the characters they felt very unique and the parents were well done which always kind of helps make a good book for me yeah it just kind of went downhill for me because the ending just felt really rushed and way too quick like this book is pretty sure it's only just over 300 pages and for the amount of stuff that goes on it really could have done with another 100 pages of world building and making a more satisfying ending because when it ends there's still a lot of questions so I'm not sure if it's a series and if it is a series I feel like the love triangle might happen but I don't know I think if there was a sequel I would pick it up just out of curiosity but it probably wouldn't be a priority I am satisfied just having read this book but like I say, there is just some unanswered questions, but it's nothing major, there's nothing like crazy, you just kind of don't know where it's going to go from there, it's kind of a little bit like, well what do we do now, and you don't know what they're going to do next. It's not that the actual plot doesn't resolve, so it's not too bad. I did quite like the main character, Aza Ray. I thought she was quite refreshing because she was a bit rude to be honest, especially at the start of the book, she was quite rude and not miserable because obviously she's ill and you can understand why she's not exactly happy but um she can be quite stubborn and a bit kind of nasty to parents and people around her obviously trying to care but they just can't understand what she's going through so I did I did definitely like her characterization there and then also how she went from that kind of rude I don't want anyone to help me to feeling quite empowered at the end and kind of helping other people and doing things for other people where she's always had things done for her so I did like her character development quite a lot I also like the other main character Jason because 
he wasn't your typical kind of boy next door best friend. He was very quirky. It was hinted at that he might have had some sort of mental illness. I think it mentioned him taking medication, but it wasn't a main focus of the book. He just kind of, I think it might have been like OCD. He obsessively counted pi in his head when he was getting stressed and he had to have everything in order and kind of go through details quite a lot. So it was nice seeing more of like a sciencey geeky boy interest who was definitely quite flawed, but you could tell that he really cared about her. So that was definitely nice. Um, this book did also make me cry twice. So I was quite emotionally invested in the characters. I just found it was just the lack of world building, I think, because you are sort of chucked into this fantasy world about halfway through and there's lots of new words and terms and it's kind of hard to imagine what was going on. Like in the book, it's all quite dark blue and starry and I imagined it much brighter and yeah I just found it a little bit hard to picture and some of the words were kind of explained once but then not again and maybe because I was reading it so like disjointed I couldn't really follow it sometimes especially towards the end it's kind of assumed you knew what it was about and then I did find it quite tricky to then like piece it all together I tried googling certain terms but I couldn't find much because this book hasn't had too much hype I suppose to wrap up this review because I don't want it to be too long I'd say the good points the pros of this book is it, if you like magical realism it definitely ticks that box, it's quite refreshing, the characters are quite unique and it does stray away from some of the tropes a bit saying me that you see a lot in YA, so I definitely like that. And overall the writing was just nice and good, uh, I really enjoy the writing style. Some of the cons, I would say the ending isn't too satisfying, it might be a series, I'm not sure. And um, yeah, it just got a bit confusing and a bit wacky. If you want, if you're going into this expecting it not to be too strange, then maybe you wouldn't enjoy it because it does get really, really weird. But if you're okay with that, it's probably pretty enjoyable. I gave it three and a half stars, so it was good, but it wasn't amazing. I wouldn't recommend it to everyone and say everyone has to read it, but I don't, I also think it isn't as bad as other people might think it is. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say. If you have any more direct questions about if you've read it, then let me know down below in the comments if you want to discuss specific things or if you have more questions about it that I haven't spoken about. Again, just ask me and I'll let you know. But overall, yeah, I would recommend this book. I think it is worth picking up. It's a pretty quick read. It is very new. It felt very new, not something I'd ever read before, but I think the strangeness and kind of... It just needs to be a bit longer, really, to make it feel a little bit more fulfilling, but I did still enjoy it. So let us know down below if you would like to see some more reviews, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!